not what you're thinking. I'm not scared of that mosquito. Okay, now since the topic is buzzing around, let me take you into the creepy world of this blood-sucking, biting, itching, tiny creatures. The most dangerous predator on the planet who is responsible for the death of billions. It's none other than the mighty mosquito. So, let me tell you more about these pesky little creatures. Zoom in! Mosquitoes are part of a large group of insects called flies and are found everywhere in the world, including in your houses. There are nearly 3,500 species of mosquitoes, but they all serve just one purpose. They bite and suck blood. So, how do they do it? Let's find the answer to this itchy question. After finding its prime target, the mosquito will spread some saliva on its prey skin that acts like an antiseptic in order to numb the spot so that you don't notice its evil intention. Then it buries a part of its mouth deep into your skin. This part is known as the proboscis that kind of looks like a straw. With its proboscis underneath your skin, the mosquito hunts for a blood vessel. When it finds one, it again releases saliva into the wound which contains a substance called an anticoagulant that keeps your blood flowing. And if it succeeds, one mosquito can drink blood up to three times of its body weight and can transmit potentially deadly diseases like malaria, dengue, zika, etc. And if not that, it inevitably leaves an itchy red bump on your skin. Phew! Thank goodness you can't see this process. Ouch! So, what can you do to treat the mosquito bite and make the itch go away? First of all, don't scratch it. As tempting as it might be, avoid scratching mosquito bites. Scratching can further hurt the skin. Instead, wash the area with mild soapy water. This process will often help decrease the itchy sensation. Trivia time! Did you know that only female mosquitoes bite? To reduce the chances of getting bitten and contracting a mosquito bone disease, start using a mosquito repellent. So kids, I hope you have learned a lot about these tiny devils that bite us, annoy us and stop us from playing outside. But the most important thing we learned today is that no matter how deadly mosquitoes are, I am not scared of them. <laughs> oh, ouch! Help! Okay kids, see you next time for some more fun facts. This is me zooming out. Help! Hiya! Hiya! Ha! Hiya! Hey friends, welcome to the brand new episode of the Dr. Binox Show. Hiya! I have a question for you. Do you know which is the deadliest animal in the world that is responsible for millions of deaths? Hiya! No, it's not the dinosaurs or crocodiles or a bunny. It's the all powerful, all impressive, almighty. The Mosquito! Yes, they are responsible for various diseases like Zika, Dengue, Yellow Fever. But one disease that has been infecting humanity since the ages is Malaria. But what causes Malaria and how does it spread in our body? Let us explore it in today's episode. Zoom in! Yeah! 
So, what causes malaria? Individuals with malaria typically acquire the infection following a mosquito bite. But before we jump to a conclusion and blame the mosquitoes, we need to look deeper through a microscope to see one of the worst enemies of the human race, a deadly microorganism called Plasmodium, a single-celled parasite carried by a female mosquito called Anopheles. When the mosquito bites someone, the parasite Plasmodium sporozoite present in its salivary glands enters the body of the targeted person and immediately rushes towards the liver where they quietly enter the big cells and hide from the immune system. And once they are in, they colonize the place for about a month, consuming the live cells and evolve themselves into a smaller form called merozoids. In this form, they multiply their population thousands of times and finally burst out of the cell. And after coming out, they carefully wrap themselves inside the membranes of the cells they have killed to remain hidden and head forward to execute their next plan of taking over the red blood cells where they again multiply inside them until the cells burst and rush to find more blood cells and the cycle continues. Now, these dead blood cells spread lots of toxic waste material inside the body triggering a strong immune response causing flu-like symptoms like chills, fever, sweating, headache, nausea, aches and pains all over the body. Not only that, if malaria affects the brain, it might cause seizures or loss of consciousness and in some cases even death. And once someone does not serve the parasite's evil plan anymore, they decide to leave the victim's body. And when another mosquito bites the infected person, the parasite enters the mosquito and the cycle continues. And this is how the deadly malaria spreads amongst humans. Trivia time! Did you know an infected person may start feeling symptoms anywhere from a week to a month after they are bitten? With some rarer forms of malaria, the parasite remains dormant and an infected person will not become ill for up to four years. Also, unfortunately, Africa is home to 92% of malaria cases and 93% of malaria-related deaths. It's question time! Today's question is, what species of mosquito carries malaria? Do write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids Cutesy Beautsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Remember my friends, malaria is a dangerous disease and we all need to work together to stop it. And the easiest way to do so is by keeping our environment and surrounding clean. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, uh, never mind. Hmm, Zika virus is a worrying thing, my dear Ace. But don't you worry, because I'm here to tell you all about it, so that you stay safe and healthy. Come, what are you waiting for, huh? Zoom in! The Zika virus disease was first identified in 1947 in rhesus monkeys in Uganda. And then, it was subsequently identified in humans as well. And now it has spread all over in Africa, America, Asia and the Pacific. 
this virus is transmitted to people through the bite of an infected mosquito. This could be the same mosquito that transmits dengue, chikungunya and yellow fever. The early symptoms of this disease are fever, skin rashes, conjunctivitis, muscle pain, joint pain and headache which are usually mild and last for two to seven days. Well, now comes the serious part. Do you know that the Zika virus also causes the much dreaded disease called microcephaly? Never heard of that before, right? Don't you worry, I'll tell you. Microcephaly is a condition where the baby's head is much smaller than expected which can later lead to complications such as dwarfism, seizures, delayed speech and movements. If a mother is infected with the Zika virus during a pregnancy, her baby is likely to be born with microcephaly and that could be quite dangerous. But hey, don't you worry because all you need to do is keep your surroundings free of mosquitoes. Wear long sleeve shirts and long pants to stay away from mosquito bites as we all know that prevention is better than cure. Trivia time! Zika is mainly carried by a specific type of mosquito called Aedes aegypti. There is no vaccine against the Zika virus yet. But don't worry, scientists are trying their best to find one. So friends, squat the menacing mosquitoes around and stay safe. This is me zooming out. Tune in next time for more fun facts. Oh little kitty, I totally understand your frustration towards these bloodthirsty insects. But wiping them all out of extinction could be a tricky task. Why? Well, let me explain it to you and our lovely audience. Hey friends, in today's episode, let us explore the possibility of a world without mosquitoes and answer a crucial question. What if all mosquitoes disappeared? Zoom in! Mosquitoes, they are a part of a large group of insects called flies and are found everywhere in the world, including in your houses. You won't believe it, but they are the most dangerous predator on the planet, responsible for the death of millions every year as they spread diseases such as malaria, yellow fever, dengue, Zika, etc through their itchy bites. And because of their blood-sucking, biting, itching qualities, mosquitoes are often considered nightly bedside terror and most people wish that the world is better without them and they should be eradicated once for all. So let us see what would happen if one day all the mosquitoes decide to quit the earth and disappear out of existence. First, we need to understand not all mosquitoes bite. Yes, out of the 3,500 species of mosquitoes, only 100 go after humans, while the rest stay away from us, happily feeding on plant and fruit nectar. So it means if we get rid of all mosquitoes, it's eventually going to harm our planet's ecological balance. Yes, as many mosquitoes play a crucial role in the pollination process, their absence will adversely affect these plants and flowers, leading to a decrease in their growth in the long run. Next, as many species like lizards, frogs and fish depend on mosquitoes for their daily diet, there is a possibility of them going extinct without the presence of mosquitoes. Still, many scientists believe their absence 
would not be missed as other species would take the place of mosquitoes and the predators could naturally switch to other insects that are easily available although this argument is debatable but what everyone is sure about is that in certain water bodies the removal of mosquitoes could pose a problem yes when an insect drowns in the water midges chew up their carcasses while the mosquito larvae step in to feed on the waste products this process produces nutrients that are important for the plants so if mosquitoes disappear it will negatively impact marine life so in conclusion instead of focusing on eradicating the entire mosquito species we should put our energy into modifying the genetic codes of those specific breeds responsible for all the diseases and deaths and fortunately the efforts are already being made yes a team of scientists in california inserted modified genes in the anopheles mosquitoes a species responsible for spreading malaria these altered genes cause the mosquito to kill the malaria causing parasite living inside their body before transmitting them to humans now that's an intelligent solution trivia time did you know the average mosquito lifespan is less than 2 months and you won't believe it but female mosquitoes lay up to 300 eggs at a time hope you learned something new in today's episode until next time it's me dr binox zooming out never mind <laughs>